Hi everybody, I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the essential hormones in pregnancy. Now I know we've probably all heard about like, oh pregnant women, they're so hormonal. But like literally they are, okay? They have much higher levels of hormones in their bodies than they do when they're not pregnant. So I wanted to talk about the really important ones in this video. So our two big ones, there's a couple of more ones we're going to talk about, but the two big ones right off the bat are estrogen and progesterone. So estrogen, what does it do? It causes the uterus to get bigger, and we need that, right? Because the baby's going to get bigger, so the uterus needs to also get bigger. The breast to grow, and then some minor genital enlargement, okay? All of these things are needed to have a successful pregnancy and then later on a successful delivery. They can cause skin changes such as hyperpigmentation. So sometimes we see that um, women get something called cloasma or the mask of pregnancy. So they get like blotchy spots on their face. Okay. And then striae, which are stretch marks. So estrogen is responsible for these skin changes. There are vascular changes, which are actually really important because as your uterus gets bigger, it needs a bigger blood supply, right? So we need to have some vascular changes to get more blood to that growing uterus. And it also alters our sodium and water retention, which is why normal healthy pregnancies, most people still get a little bit swollen near the end, usually in their lower extremities. So a little bit of edema is attributed to estrogen. Estrogen is produced by the placenta. Another one produced by the placenta is progesterone. So what does it do? It maintains the endometrium during pregnancy, and this is very important. Okay, this is a very important job. If you've ever heard of somebody or seen somebody who they get pregnant, like they have no trouble getting pregnant, but they can't seem to like maintain a pregnancy, they have a lot of like early miscarriages, Likely, it's a progesterone problem. And what we do is if we know that this is the problem, then we'll give them supplemental progesterone throughout their pregnancy to help maintain the pregnancy as long as we can. It inhibits contractions. And I know you're probably thinking, don't we need contractions? We do. We need contractions, but only when it's time, okay? When it's time to deliver the baby, hopefully baby is term and you're in labor, then yes, we need contractions then. We do not need to be having contractions at 10 weeks, 20 weeks, 30 weeks, okay? So progesterone is what's going to make that not happen. It aids in duct development for lactation, so helping with um, future lactation to feed the baby. And it also has some bad side effects. It decreases smooth muscle tone in the body. So what does that mean? It causes constipation, heartburn, and varicose veins which of course nobody wants to have any of these things. But progesterone is responsible for this one. Progesterone, estrogen, also produced in your body when you're not pregnant. I don't want it to sound like these are only available when you're pregnant, but they're produced in much, much higher levels when you are pregnant because they are produced by the placenta as well. Now I want to focus on a couple of other little ones that aren't as big but still have important little jobs. Estrogen and progesterone are the most well-known hormones when it comes to pregnancy, but there are a couple of other ones that are important too, and I wanted to touch on them here in this video. So HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin. So what does it do? It stimulates estrogen and progesterone to be made by the corpus luteum, which is what we have before we have the placenta. So this is what's maintaining our pregnancy before we have the placenta. And it's big kind of claim to fame. Why is it so special? Pregnancy test. So when you take a pregnancy test, whether it's the $20 Target one or the $1 one from the Dollar Tree, they are all looking for the same thing. They are looking for HCG. Okay, so it's very important. And that's kind of its claim to fame. Prolactin. This helps prepare the breasts for lactation. And that one's pretty easy to remember, because if you break down the word pro, like we're for it, right? And then lactin, like lactose, like milk, lactation, right? So we're, we're promoting lactation, right? We're for lactation. 
So prolactin helps prepare the breasts for lactation. And then finally, oxytocin. So oxytocin is not produced by the placenta, but it is very, very important when it comes to pregnancy and delivery. So it causes contractions. It's the thing that causes mom to go into labor, this hormone being released. It is inhibited, hopefully, for a very long time until mom becomes term by progesterone, okay? But then when it is time to deliver, it's what's causing those contractions. And actually, a very, very common med that we give to help induce or augment labor is oxytocin. Pitocin is the name of the drug. And it also does this, it also aids in milk ejection during breastfeeding. Oxytocin is actually a very important hormone after delivery, okay, so after pregnancy when baby comes out because it helps prevent mom from bleeding to death because it helps her uterus to clamp down. It helps eject that milk so that baby can breastfeed and get something to eat. And then it also helps promote bonding. Sometimes oxytocin is called like the love hormone, right? So it helps promote bonding and attachment when you do that skin to skin with mom and baby. So that was my video on the essential hormones in pregnancy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If not, I'll see you on the next one.